What's going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. Today I have 18 items that I sold on eBay this past weekend, so we have to get all those pulled, packed, and shipped out. Then I have a few comments and questions that I got in my last video that I want to discuss with you guys. And finally, we're going to open one of the three remaining mystery palettes that I picked up at Goodwill last week. Stick around. All right, guys, so the first thing we sold this weekend is this St. John's Bay jacket. St. John's Bay is not a great brand. I actually usually would not pick this up. However, I found this at the bins probably seven months ago. So I paid maybe $3 for it. It was 100% leather. It had like the little Sherpa thingy along the, along the collar, a nice little aviator jacket type dealio. And this sold for $40 plus shipping. Pretty good sale for a brand that, you know, is not usually something that resellers would pick up. Next item I believe is in the eye bin. Yeah, it's right here. This is a little shape ball toy thing. You, you guys know what these are. I just don't know what the name is. I, oh, it was a uh, Tupperware Shapo toy. I got this at the bins last week. It was brand new. All the little pieces are still inside sealed in plastic. And I think I originally listed it for $20 plus shipping. And then this weekend I was just sending some offers and stuff like that. Sent an offer of $18 plus shipping and it sold. So I paid probably less than a dollar for this at the bins. Sold it for $18 plus shipping in less than you know two or three days. Pretty good sale. Next up is this copy of Soul Calibur 5 for Xbox 360. This was part of my video game lot that I bought. Probably had pennies into this, not very much at all. And this sold for $8 free shipping it'll probably cost about three dollars to ship out so i might be making about you know two three dollars on it after fees and everything again i wouldn't buy this to resell but because it was in the lot already i just went ahead and listed it so free two or three dollars next up is a baseball bat that's the i think it's this one demarini vendetta yeah uh this is a i think a little league bat it's a drop 12 Pretty sure, yeah, approved for Little League, Babe Ruth play. Uh, I think I got this one at the bin, so I probably paid like $1.50 for it, and it sold for $10 plus shipping. With baseball and sporting equipment right now, because you know the baseball season for Little League and, and high school was supposed to start in the spring, and most of them, to my knowledge, didn't, it was an area that I had like stockpiled a bunch of like gloves and bats and, and, and clothing and stuff that I thought I was gonna sell in the spring, but because baseball season was basically canceled, now I'm just stuck with all this stuff. So it will eventually sell. I mean, I'm still selling bats today. I think the next item up is a bat as well. But uh, baseball and sporting equipment has really not sold as well as planned. But other categories like video games and puzzles and stuff kind of made up for it a little bit. So it'll all work out eventually. The next item up is a bat. I think it's this one. This Di Marini voodoo de marini voodoo this is a drop three so this is a bat for high school or collegiate play and this one sold for 59 dollars plus shipping really good sale on the bat there i actually got this one at goodwill the very first time i went back to goodwill after it opened from COVID, uh, i got this one and another bat i paid i think two dollars and 92 cents each the first one sold for a hundred dollars plus shipping and this one like i said just sold 59 plus shipping so really good sale on a bat there they're still selling just not quite as well as i planned Next item up is in the P bin down here, and I think it's right on top. This pair of women's North Face shorts. I picked these up at the Goodwill bins maybe two weeks ago, not too long ago. I usually don't buy clothes at the bins just because I just don't like listing clothes, but they were super lightweight. They probably cost maybe 25 cents or so. They were in excellent condition, uh, and I didn't think they would sit long because it's a great time of year to sell North Face shorts. So I bought them, paid 25 cents, listed them for $20 free shipping, and they sold this past weekend. They were listed for about a week and a half or so. Uh, so pretty good sale on a pair of shorts that cost me 25 cents. And it'll probably cost like four bucks to ship them out. Next up is a pair of shoes. They're a pair of Merrill's Women's. It's not those. Maybe it's these. Yeah, Merrill. These Merrill, uh, I don't know exactly what they're called, but... Let's get them out here. Take a better look at them here. These are Merrill Mesa ventilator, something like that. Uh, I've had these for a while. I don't even remember where I got these. Probably Goodwill. I paid, if I got them at Goodwill, I paid six fifty for them. If I got them at Salvation Army, I probably paid six ninety nine or five ninety nine. Uh, and these sold for eighteen dollars plus shipping. So just happy to be moving out one of my many pairs of shoes. 
Next up is this board game, I think. Awkward Family Photos, sealed in the package. When I bought this, I thought it was a puzzle. And I didn't notice it was actually a board game until I went to go list it. Uh, I got this at Salvation Army. I think this was $2.99. Um, I don't really know why I bought it. It wasn't a very good buy. This sold for $10 plus shipping, making a little bit of money. But um, again, I think I bought it like back when puzzles were really hot. So I thought this was gonna sell really well. And then it just turned out to be a board game, which most of them, the ones I find, just aren't worth much at all. So again, $10 plus shipping, uh, whatever. <laughs> Next up is a remote. It is a, I think it's this one, Sony. Sony D173A. Yeah, this one sold for $14 free shipping. I found this at the Benz uh, maybe two weeks ago. So I probably paid about 25 cents for it. After shipping, I'll probably profit like nine bucks or so. Pretty good on a remote. Next item is another remote. This is for a ceiling fan. I actually got this from my mother-in-law. She didn't need it anymore. Uh, it was just sitting on her coffee table, and so it sold for $12. Free shipping, probably cost about three bucks to ship out, so I will split the profits with her. Next up is this pair of Brooks running shoes that I picked up at Salvation Army two videos ago. I think these were $6.99, very good condition, very good size, and these sold for $45 plus shipping. I did get a bunch of lowball offers on these of like $20, $25, but I knew what these were worth. I knew I could definitely get at least $45 plus shipping, and I did. So pretty good pickup. Next up is this pair of Vibram five finger shoes. When I found these, I, I think I found these like four or five months ago, I thought they were going to sell super quickly because I thought these were much more popular, uh, but I think it's because these are such a small size. These are a women's 6.5. Um, very good condition. You can see it's basically never been worn outside and I got these at Goodwill. So these were $6.50. Actually, I think they charged me a kid's price for these because they were so small. So these might've been $4.99 or something. Uh, but anyway, you know, four or five, six bucks, something like that. And these sold for $30 free shipping. These are super lightweight. Uh, I'll probably throw these in a padded envelope and they might can even go first class for about five bucks or so. Uh, not, not a bad sale, but just sat a little bit longer than I was hoping. This next item is I-14, so we go to the I-bin and look for number 14, wherever that is. Oh, here it is. This is a Vanderbilt Champion t-shirt. I've had this listed forever. Um, I mean, probably over a year, and I had a viewer reach out and say that she lives in the UK and her husband is a huge fan of the channel. Definitely appreciate that, and she wanted to purchase something from my store to send to him and give like a little handwritten note or something to him for... I don't remember if she said it was a birthday or what, but I'll have to go back and check our messages. But her name was Alice. I don't remember the husband's name right off the bat, but I will <laughs> mention that later on the video when I pack in the order. But Alice, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope this gets to you in time for his, his birthday. Um, I will do my best to send it appropriately. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. This sold for $7.99 plus shipping, but it went through the global shipping program. Um, so Alice paid the shipping cost here plus probably another 20 bucks or so to get it actually to the UK. So Alice, again, thank you so much. You're the best. Next item up is this pair of 10 pound dumbbells. If you guys watched my last video with the pallets, you saw that I pulled these out of the very first pallet that I got at Goodwill. I paid $40 for the whole pallet and these were just inside. And these sold to a viewer named Steven. Steven, thank you so much for your support. And Steven paid $60 free shipping for these. These will go in a medium flat rate box. And I think that's gonna cost like 15 bucks or so, something like that. So Steven, thanks for, thanks for the support. Again, I really appreciate it. And I'll get these sent out to you as soon as possible. Next up is another pair of shoes. These are some Adidas women's like trail running shoes. Got a lot of grip on the bottom there. Really good condition. These have been listed for a long time. I'd say four or five months, much longer than I thought they were gonna be listed. Paid $6.50 for these and these sold for $30 plus shipping. Next item is pretty interesting. It's this deluxe turntable Scrabble game. I usually do not pick up board games, like I said <laughs> earlier, because they're just not really worth much. However, I was at the bins last week, I think last Monday maybe, and I found this, I opened it up, all the pieces were inside. I mean, the board's in great condition. Um, it had all the, like the, a brand new scribble pad, the instructions, all four trays, all the tiles. And so I just scanned it. I was like, let me just scan it and see what it's worth. And actually the sold comps on this were actually pretty good. Anywhere from like 35 to $50 plus shipping. So I listed this one at $39 plus shipping and it sold this weekend. So it was, it was only listed for about three or four days, which for a board game in my experience is very, very good. So it might be a tough, tough bear to pack and ship, but 
you know, turning basically, I think it was like two, 250 or so into 39 bucks plus shipping. It's pretty worth it. Next item is in the iBin, I-05, which I see it right here. Put my sticker on there. This is a J. Jill women's top. I got this you know, six or seven months ago when I was still doing clothing. It's been listed forever and it finally sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. This, I'm pretty sure this came from Goodwill, paid like 475 for it. So making a little bit of profit, but not too much. That's why I don't do clothing anymore. This next item is pretty interesting. It's a lot of buttons like pin backs and, and stuff like that. I went to the bins about two weeks ago and there was just one bin just filled with buttons. I mean, probably hundreds of them. And I just went through and picked out some that I thought were pretty cool. I don't really know anything about buttons, but I didn't want to be too invested in them. So I got, I don't know. You I mean, you see the listing there. What is that? Like maybe 20 buttons or so, something like that. Um, so I probably, this probably weighs about a pound. So I paid about a dollar and 39 cents for all of these. And I auctioned them off because I wasn't sure, you know, I didn't want to sell them individually. That's just too much time to go through all these. So I just lotted them up, put them on an auction and they eventually sold for seven fifty plus shipping. So, you know, I'm still making a profit, I guess, but with something like this, I just took a chance. You know, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Very rarely do you lose money taking chances on stuff at the bins just because it's so cheap. So, you know, made five bucks or something like that. And now I'll know that buttons really aren't my, my cup of tea. And the last order we have going out today that wasn't even part of the eBay orders. This was an individual sale, this little blue rooster that I pulled out of my pallet last week. This sold to Callie over at Rally Roots. Callie, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate the fact that you watch my videos and want to buy something that was in one of them. So I'll get this sent out to you. Callie paid, I think it was like 10 bucks free shipping. Um, it's not like an antique or anything like that. I just thought it was pretty cool. So Callie, again, thank you so much. Uh, go subscribe to Callie's World. Callie has a YouTube channel. She doesn't really post much, but just go subscribe anyway, and let's make her post videos again, because they were really good. So I'm getting some of this stuff packed up, and I came across this Vanderbilt t-shirt, and I remembered I had to look up that guy's name. So it was Alice that bought the t-shirt, and she bought it for her boyfriend, Sam, for his birthday. So Sam, thank you so much for enjoying the channel, and um, your girlfriend said that I inspired you to make your own reselling business, so I wish you the best of luck, man. Happy birthday. I think she said it was your 21st birthday, so don't go too crazy, have fun, and uh, just thanks for the support, both of you guys. I really appreciate it. All right, so we got everything packed up and ready to go. So all these sales are from this past weekend. I went on vacation, uh, so these sales are from Friday until Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We had a total gross sales amount of about $575 between these four days, so it wasn't a really great weekend of sales. It was pretty slow. Overall, I think I made a profit of like $280 or so, roughly. Uh, I don't really have time to do a full breakdown for you guys, but pretty mediocre weekend for a full-timer, but if you're a part-timer, obviously those would be really good numbers. So got all this stuff ready to go. My mail person should be here pretty quickly. And so now let's get into some of the topics of conversation for my last video. Real quick, before we get into those questions, I have to share this with you guys. If you remember two videos ago, I said I accidentally sent a box with a $75 hard hat in it to my mail carrier without any shipping label on it. I thought it was gonna end up in Atlanta. I, I went back to my post office with Miss Leslie in Five Points and she gave me the number of the, basically the lost and found for the mail in this area. And after a few days and a few phone calls back and forth, I actually located the package that I sent without a shipping label. So we're gonna go ahead and open it now just to make sure everything's good to go in here. But this this helmet sold last week for $75 free shipping and I had to cancel that order because <clears throat> I didn't have the, the hat to send out so once I verify that this is still you know in the same condition that I sent it in I'll probably just message that buyer that I had to cancel it on and see if he wants to buy it uh, for the same price so here it is it's a skull guard hard hat very very relieved that I was able to find it uh, I had a ton of you guys that commented on that video and gave me advice about how to go about finding it and, and what would eventually happen to it. So thank you guys so much for your attempt at helping me. And I'm just really glad that I was able to find it. This is not something that I expected. Um, you know, once I talked to the first two people, I just kind of assumed in my head that I would never, ever find it again. Uh, so this is definitely a relief. I already have it relisted. And like I said, I'll probably message that buyer that I canceled it on last week and see if he wants to buy it for the same price. So. 
starting the week off on a good note. So in my last video with the three Goodwill palettes, you guys were straight roasting me in the comments. And I, I definitely deserved every bit of it. You guys were saying that I was throwing good stuff away. I should have redonated it to the thrift store. I should have a yard sale. I should just put it on the road in front of my house for free. Um, another concern was that I was handling the, the, the stuff haphazardly, you know, throwing it around. And so I just want to address some of those because those are all completely valid concerns. And first, I will say that I definitely appreciate you guys calling me out. I've always said that if you ever see me do or say anything in a video that you don't agree with, comment and let me know and, and we can have a good conversation about it. Um, I will preface this by saying that this was last Thursday and I was leaving town. I was doing all the pallet stuff last Thursday. I bought six pallets, unloaded and sorted through three of them in one day. And then Friday, the next day, I was headed out of town. So I didn't have a ton of time to go through these pallets and, and organize everything into a, a yard sale pile and a free pile and a redonate pile and all this stuff. So I was on a time constraint. Um, and also I was just on a high, honestly, like going through all those pallets. It was just super exciting. And I was looking for profits. And I think that's why I was handling the stuff so poorly because I wasn't literally I was not thinking about how I was handling the goods. I was just concerned about getting in and seeing what else there was. If you've ever been in a situation like that, maybe you bought a storage unit or a mystery box or something, and like when you're going through it, that's all you can think about. Not saying that that's right, but that's just my explanation of why I was handling this stuff so poorly. Uh, I didn't break anything. Nothing was scratched or dented or anything like that, but uh, I, I went back and watched the video and I was, I was, I was, I was not being gentle at all, 100%. I 100% agree with you. One of the reasons I didn't redonate a lot of that stuff was because Goodwill was selling these pallets to get rid of inventory. And one of their stipulations in buying the pallet was that you had to take everything so that you couldn't leave anything at the store. I guess I could have returned later and redonated some of the stuff, but um, or I could have redonated it to a different thrift store. Um, but I just, again, it was on a time constraint. I only had one day to get all these all this stuff organized. Um, and this week with these three pallets, I have the whole week. I'm not going on vacation or anything. So I'm actually going to do a yard sale this weekend. I'm going to have a yard sale pile. And I'm going to try to redonate some of this other stuff. Um, but again, last week I was on a time constraint. I wasn't really thinking clearly. Uh, so that is that. Some of you also said that I could just put this stuff in my yard for free. I tried that last week earlier in the week when I was going through my garage, just clearing some space out. And it got to where I would just fill up my front lawn with stuff and people in my neighborhood would come and pick one or two things, but at the end of the day, I still had a huge pile of, of junk in, in my front yard. Um, so it's just, I don't want to wait on, for like have my yard junked up for a whole week, waiting for people to come and take everything because I don't want to be an eyesore in the neighborhood. Like I've got these three pallets out here in, in my driveway now, and it makes me nervous, you know, because I don't want to be the guy in the neighborhood that has a junky house, you know, and having a bunch of stuff in my yard for multiple days, waiting on people to come get it for free. is just not, uh, not something I want to do, but this week is a different story. I've got the whole week to work. I'm going to do a yard sale this weekend. I'm going to try to redonate the stuff. So again, I appreciate you guys calling me out. I, I, you are right. <laughs> you are correct on every, every front again. Uh, so I will try to be more gentle with the inventory today. I will try to make a pile for the uh, yard sale this weekend. It's going to be pretty sick. I'm going to have a really, I, I'm really excited about this yard sale. Uh, and I'll try to make a donation pile and try to throw away as little of this stuff as possible. All right, so we got three pallets left and I told you guys in the last video that we're gonna do one pallet per video. So I'm just gonna do this one on the front just so we can get this one out of the way. And I'm also gonna switch to the head mount because last video I had my backpack strap on and it was just, even with super view on the GoPro, it was just hard to see everything. So I think if I switch to the head strap, you'll be able to get a better view of what I'm looking at. So. We're going to go through this pallet. I've got my truck backed up. We're going to put the trash in the truck. We're going to put the keep stuff gently placed over there somewhere. We're going to have a box for the yard sale this weekend and a box to take to another thrift store to redonate. So uh, just improving, improving me as a person one step at a time. A couple of you guys also asked how I got these pallets home. Um, I went to one Goodwill last week and they had all three of these there and they would only hold it for 24 hours and since remember i said i went on vacation um i had to get them that day and uh and the dump was closed that day so i couldn't even like unload some stuff at the dump so i had to go rent a box truck from penske i got a truck with the lift gate and it was like 160 dollars for for the whole trip um so i did spend 
$50 on each pallet, so $150 bucks plus $160 for the truck, so I'm all in $310. Once I return these boxes and the pallets to Goodwill, they'll give me $30 bucks back, $10 bucks each, so I'll be all in $280 total. Uh, so just keep that in mind as we go through these pallets. So this is the first pallet here. Um, you can see not much, not much going on on the top, but let's get into it and see what's inside. Ooh, a box of toys here. All right. Let's see, we got a snake. I guess I can re-donate that. Um, Girl Scout tin. I'll yard sale that. That's cool. Fourth of July towel. Little beach towel. I can yard sale that. It's Barbie set. Castle Barbie set. I'll yard sale that. Donate. Garbage, garbage. I'll just save this trash bag for garbage. That's an apron. Old party decorations. Okay, I got this cup, Bubba. Looks pretty good condition. It's pretty big. I'm gonna keep that. I mean, I'll keep it to yard sale. That's a cool little flower pot. Looks like it could possibly be handmade. Yard sale, easy five bucks a yard sale. Another box of toys. I'm not going to go through this. They look like some of them may be pretty old. A little Fred Flintstone. Baby. Yard sale. Just gently set them down. Very gently. Okay. So this is a great yard sale item. It's definitely too big and heavy and fragile to sell on eBay. Looks like a 16-piece stoneware set it looks like the stoneware that i don't know i don't know if it's the one that came in the box or not but it looks to be like a 16 piece good condition no, nothing broken definitely a yard sale item i put the yard sale stuff over here the christmas tree christmas trees are super annoying but if this thing lights up that's an easy yard sale item all right what's in here Baby Einstein, it doesn't work, but it could just need batteries and a back. I'll redonate it. Riding in my car, redonate. K bag with stains all over it, garbage. A tractor. John, <clears throat> John Deere, but there's, oh, it makes noises. Okay, definitely yard sale that. Anyways ropes. I don't know what kind of rope this is, but somebody will buy it at the yard sale. Right, this baby stroller. Redonate. Oh, sorry. I was rough with that. There's old blocks. Those look cool. Set of wooden blocks. Campers, diapers, I can yard sale that. It's a little seat, yard sale. And a princess peach. And that, yeah, I'll keep those. Mickey, that doesn't look like much. Slot chop, yard sale. So I think a lot of these, I think I have a bunch of these blocks. So I'm going to lock these blocks up. I might can put the blocks on eBay because people love wooden toys. These are like definitely old wooden blocks. I might can get, I don't know, enough to make it worth my while to sell them on eBay. There is a ton of them. This, Mardi Gras? This is definitely a Mardi Gras suit. Donate that. I have no need for a Mardi Gras suit. This is a Barbie playset or something. I don't. I don't really see anything of any value. I'll just redonate it. There's another block. Uh, 
All right, let's look in here. Peppa Pig, golly, she's gross. Um, yeah, that's really gross. I, I'm just gonna garbage her. This RC car, that's cool, man. Some kid like had that at the yard sale. Oh, look at that, is that vintage? No, it's not vintage and it's gross. Ugh. I'm gonna toss it. Um, are you doing it? Build a bear workshop rabbit. Um, bab. It's got a little thing in there. Free donate. The build a bear workshop stuff you might can make a few bucks on, but it's not really worth it. I've got like four of them listed right now and they haven't sold. I'm just gonna close that back up. Free donate. It's a little bit of luggage. Nothing. Nothing. I need to get inside here somehow. My battery and my GoPro died. I had to switch it out, but I have a couple more things over here in the donate pile, like this Lexington Medical Center cooler. Um, it's a local hospital. I mean, it's a good cooler. It's just not really worth anything. So I'm just going to donate that. Uh, donate some some pots and stuff. Uh, working our way through this thing. This is my little Pelican case here. Brand new for the iPhone 6, 6X, 7, or 8. Uh, probably get like 20 bucks for that on eBay. I'll keep that. Oh, what is this? It's one of those little Viewmaster, the original made in USA Viewmaster. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that's worth, but I'll keep looking at it. A little measuring cup, donate that. Daylight bulb, donate that. Here. Oh, that's the. It's already been gone through. What is this? Ilford photographic paper. Huh. This looks like. This looks like a bunch of unused photo photo paper. Let's uh. Let's see if there's there's a barcode right there. This might be good. Photo paper can sometimes be expensive depending on. Um. You know, the brand and stuff. This looks pretty professional. It's very heavy. Probably weighs like four pounds. All right, so this great day. There's okay. So this is a hundred pack, eight by ten, eight by ten, a hundred pack. There's one listed for seventy dollars plus shipping, eighty nine dollars free shipping. Six listed. Let's go to sold. Three sold. One for fourteen ninety five plus shipping, but that was a that was an auction. One for fifty five dollars free shipping. One for fifty three dollars free shipping. So that's looking pretty good. It's about a 50% sell-through rate. I think I have a pretty good chance of selling that on eBay for about 50 bucks. Should be able to make all my money back just from that one thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at here. These glasses. Oh, frick, look at there. Can you guys see that? Salvatore Ferragamo. These look like women's like prescription glasses. They're kind of kind of foggy to see through, so I think they're prescription. Pretty good condition. A little a little like nastiness on the ear things, but they're still Salvatore Ferragamo. Those might be worth something. Put those over there. Solid brass four deer sleigh. That might be pretty good. Probably yard sale that. I don't think it'll be quite worth it to put it on eBay. Those are pretty nice salad bowls. Made in Indonesia. I'm gonna redonate those. Wait, a lot of, a lot of kitchen stuff in this pallet. Keurig. I still got the thing on the side. Looks like it just needs to be cleaned up. I will yard sale that. Pyrex. This is a Pyrex casserole dish. Looks pretty good. Hey, Miss Leslie. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? matches I can actually use those well, that, would be better. that would be yeah for sure uh, it could always be worse though 
I'll bring the rest over there for you. I just appreciate you scanning them in. A temp driver, he never scans anything. I'll take it. Okay. Take that one. This one's some dumbbells. It's kind of heavy. Uh, yeah. You just set it right there. All right. Thank All you, ma'am. Right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay. Is this Pyrex? That's Pyrex. And that goes to a bunch of these Pyrex dishes. Oops. They're good. Baby snail pool. Huh. I can yard sale that. Bug wash. I can always use that for my truck. Those look cool. I have no idea what they are, but. Oh, it's like an old coloring book. An uncolored coloring book from 1984. Oh, that one's colored in. But for the most part, they're not. This might do well on eBay. All this is going to probably Salvation Army, since I don't want to redonate it to Goodwill. All this is going to a yard sale, and that is what I'm eBaying or keeping personally. So obviously, this pallet was not nearly as good as that first one. There were no like huge home runs, but again, I only paid forty dollars for all of this stuff. So I'm turning forty dollars into a huge donation for Salvation Army. Bunch of, I mean, bunch of, bunch of yard sale stuff. Like I should have no problem. Even the yard sale prices, especially if that Keurig works, making 50 to 75 bucks off all this stuff at a yard sale pretty easily. So maybe doubling my money just with the yard sale stuff and then the eBay stuff, pretty good too. All those blocks should do well. This this thing, I think it's the Queasy Bake Oven. I'm not 100% sure. Um, keeping all that stuff, these cool coloring books, this book on Maine. This photo paper is worth like 50 bucks. Um, Pelican case, maybe 20. So again, no home runs, but definitely not losing money. And so I'm hopefully, in one of these two other pallets, there are some good stuff, but that will be on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time tremendously. You're the best, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.